Hi all, this is Varun Manik and today we're going to learn about the AWS Copilot which is launched by Amazon in last week, July 9, 2020. And so first question, what is Copilot? So the AWS Copilot is a command line interface which provides an application first high level command to simplify modeling, creating, releasing and managing production ready containerized application on Amazon ECS, which is Elastic Container Service from a local development environment. So uh, it will provide a DevOps feature to you rather than creating your infrastructure of ECS with your command line or with the ECS CLI or AWS DevOps process. Everything is shorted uh, with this uh, Copilot command and Copilot CLI. So without making any delay, let's get into that uh, hands-on. And before getting into the hands-on, just uh, try to uh, know about like what is the prerequisite for this uh, setup. So first of all, we need to have an AWS account. And uh, once we have an AWS account, we need to install the uh, AWS Copilot CLI in our Linux, Mac or Windows server. Okay. And once it is uh, installed in the AWS CLI, which is Amazon Web Services, command line interface should be installed in your machine. And you have to run the AWS configure command where you can provide the IAM uh, uh, access to your key and secret access key. And then uh, you need to install the Docker and get your Linux machine. So uh, let's uh, go to the AWS and I'm gonna do it from the starting. So this is my AWS account and I'm gonna launch a new machine. So just click on the launch. I'm gonna select this uh, Linux AMI and I'm gonna choose the T2 small, which is not free. If you need a free version, you just go and select the T2 micro. Okay, click on the next detail. Select as it is the default uh, information about your configure instance. Then click on add storage, 8 GB storage is sufficient enough. Then add tags and then create a security group. I do have a security group already, which name is Docker DMZ, which have HTTP uh, open to, sorry, HTTP open to all, as well as the SSH uh, uh, connection open to my IP address only, right? So click on next then click on launch. And I do have uh, a key pair with me, name as Copilot, right? So I acknowledge this one and launch an instance. So my AWS EC2 instance is launched. Let's name it Copilot Demo. Okay. Uh, yes. Meanwhile, we can go to our uh, uh, Linux terminal and I am using the Windows Server as my local machine. So this is my Linux terminal and let me come to my uh, root WSL machine. So this is my WSL machine uh, and if I can put LL, I can see my copilot.pem file is here. So if you downloaded your new PEM file, just run the command ch mode 400 copilot means your PEM file and hit enter. Once it is done, then you need to log into your newly created EC2 machine. So just type a command SSH hyphen I and your PEM file, which is copilot PEM. Okay. and give your uh, username for your EC2 machine. So for my machine, it's EC2 hyphen user at the rate, the IP address of your machine. So let's go back to the console quickly, copy this IP address, paste it here and hit enter. It will ask for an authentication, you press yes. And now you are just in your Linux machine, newly created Linux machine. You can see here, Amazon, uh, uh, Linux AMI, right? So uh, without making any delay, let's go to the root uh, access, which is sudo hyphen I. And it is a best practice to update your machine. So yum install or uh, yum update minus Y is fine. 
Okay, it will update your uh, Linux VM right now. Okay, it's updated. So as I described in my blog, uh, 